Hello again, how are you? Hope you're doing well. It's my friend Alistair you've got to thank or blame for this update. He said, Gary, you're not updating Zonk Club enough, and he's absolutely right. Uh, many reasons for that. One is really just prioritising the absolute necessary stuff, including work that frankly pays the bills. But also just trying to think of new things to share with you, because I don't want this just to be a moan in a woe is me, look what ME does, because there's enough of that from me and many other people, and I, I don't know if it serves any great purpose. That said, I've been giving it quite a lot of thought, and, and I realise what a fake I appear on social media. Uh, I look at my personal Instagram feed, and of course you... You send out the good pictures, don't you? The the nice sunny days, the lovely landscapes. The day I've had a haircut and I look and feel human and it, a haircut always looks like it's knocked about uh, half an ounce off my face. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, but I thought now actually was, was also a good time because, um, well, it's, it's middle of October now uh, and September, I think it's fair to say, was probably the worst month I've had in the last year because I've I, th I think I've got into quite a good routine um, of, of managing my symptoms of, of living enough normal life to stop me going crazy and also to feel like I'm doing something useful my my main job is as a, a journalist on the TV and I'm doing an average of two days a week at ITV News uh, two non-consecutive days that's been the absolute breakthrough moment for me and it sounds dead obvious uh, if you do two non-consecutive days there is enough ample rest time in between them uh, occasionally I'm doing some radio shows did a little bit of writing from the newspaper and a few other bits and pieces mainly writing stuff that I can do here where I am now which is basically laid in bed or sat up in bed with either my laptop or my iPad but in September it just how can I best describe it 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 felt like um, there was a moment where I just felt like my head was below water and, and then normally you can sort of swim back to the surface but actually I wasn't managing it. I was going lower and lower and lower and I was I was drowning in my symptoms but because pride gets in the way, I, I was putting my game face on, my mask for other people most of the time but there were moments where I was barely functional. I, I know there's been more than one occasion when I've been talking to colleagues and the words are sort of drifting towards me as they're talking and they're, they're appearing in my head not as words and sentences and paragraphs and coherent thoughts but just as sounds, as noise, as syllables that are just arriving as mush in my head but I'm sort of doing my best to go, oh yeah, yeah, of course, absolutely, whilst not quite fully comprehending what's going on, that's far from ideal. And then very often the moment I stop holding it together, uh, my body, well, A, the, the, the pain in my body is just extraordinary a lot of the time, but it's been excruciating at times. Uh, my speech begins to go slurry, my uh, hearing uh, goes, sort of, sort of fades in and out, and goes very whistly, uh, and indeed the edge of my eyesight begins to go almost like a sort of a a steady eclipse of my vision on the edge of my vision and then it all just goes a bit blurry like some sort of smeared Vaseline on the lenses of my eyes. Uh, today it's all right I've been at the hospital for a blood test so I've got a, got a little war wound uh, and I'm actually just other than that having a, a very gentle restful day and I'm having a little lie down on the bed. I've been listening to a few podcasts and, and then I thought, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll chat to you and hopefully Alistair will approve. But I think the point I was trying to make was, um, yeah, I was, I, was, I was drowning and it really reminded me of the things I've said in the past about kindness. Uh, I, I still have so many hang-ups that I've got to put on that brave face for other people, that I've got to perform and be a, a version of me that I'm wanting to project onto the world that everything's great hi I'm Gary everything's marvelous all the sort of things you do and when people say hello how are you usually don't really mean how are you they're just the things we say but I also automatically go yeah great fabulous how are you and move on whereas in all honesty it's probably helpful at times to go do you know what <laughs> I'm bloody awful um, I'm in crippling pain 
Uh, my, uh, my body feels very inflamed. I can't think properly. Um, I'm struggling to speak and see and listen. And any hope of multitasking, all the things that we like to do normally, uh, to, to have one thing, sorry, more than one thing on your mind at once is just impossible for me to do. My body's ability to compute is so diminished. So what have I done about it? Well, sorry, I'm just going to change hands holding my phone because uh, <clears throat> my arm's getting sore. Um, what have I done about it? Well, um, I rested lots. I had eight days where I, I cancelled any work or anything and was predominantly uh, stuck at home and most of all of those days stuck in bed. There, there was one day I was getting so frustrated uh, that I just got dressed uh, walk down the garden path with a view of getting in the car to drive to a coffee shop, sit in a coffee shop and read a newspaper just to do something normal. Uh, getting washed and dressed was, wow, it was like climbing a mountain. And then by the time I'd reached the bottom of the garden path, you know when you know you're an idiot? <laughs> so I just turned around, did a 180, back in the house, clothes off. I think I just left them on the floor and just collapsed here in bed uh, into a heap. Um, and then had a bit of a pity party, cried my eyes out, felt sorry for myself, all the things I don't like to normally do. But you know what, actually kindness is also sometimes just giving into those feelings. And I, I'm a big believer that crying can actually be a really good thing. And I just let it out, there, there was just me here. Uh, Alan, my husband was at work, although I think there was one day when he came and sat on the bed and I was just like, there, ah, whoa, it's me. And then on you go. Uh, and then things that uh, I think helped get me through the other side of that. One is giving into those feelings so I didn't feel like I was putting on the brave face. Um, wasn't having to perform for other people. Uh, also, my chiropractor is brilliant. And I, I had missed a few chiropractor appointments because I, I was just cancelling things that I didn't think were utterly essential because I just needed to stop and flake out uh, this sort of bone crushing fatigue and just your, your, your mind not able to think straight uh, but I went to the chiropractor uh, I, I'm a bit of an evangelist for it I thought it was just sort of people with sore backs and cracking spines but it's not it's it's really realigning Everything to do with your, your spine and your neck and even my jaw. Uh, anything that's preventing the clear flow of information uh, with, with the nerves and everything else that runs up and down your body. So uh, Tom, who does that, is an absolute star. Highly recommend it. And the other one that I, I blogged about many months ago was uh, CBD oil. And I've I've upped my dose. Uh, I, have, I have two different types of CBD oil. Uh, a, I might get the words wrong. A, a sativa strain that I use in the morning that basically sort of turns on some of the sort of energy systems in your body. And then at night, uh, an indica strain that turns everything off a bit like lavender at night just makes you feel a bit sleepy uh, well the the indica strain at night really just slows me down things that stop me getting to bed including just pain on my body as I'm sort of rolling over to go to sleep but also restless legs I know a lot of people talk about restless leg syndrome uh, I have that restless leg thing and the the CBD oil for that at night really just helped slow me down so my sleep then was a bit better it's not brilliant but better than it was so that starts becoming a a virtuous circle of things improving rather than the vicious circle of things just getting worse and worse and worse uh, so so they've helped for me but also just going back to some of the, those basics that um, I, I wrote about a couple of years ago uh, which is really thinking about your energy and how much of your energy anything you do uses up uh, and the way I used to do it was as a, a three point system and I was allowed to use three points of energy in a day. So if it was something significant, like uh, going to the shop and buying something and bringing it home, that would be three points. That's the day done. Uh, for me, a, a cup of coffee on my own in a coffee shop is a one pointer. Uh, but as soon as I'm there with a friend, that's two points because the conversation uses up energy. 
And uh, if there's more than one person there, that's absolutely three points. For me, uh, having to talk to more than one person at the same time, even if it's just two friends, it's lovely to do, but it absolutely wipes me out. So I just need to be aware of that um, as and when I do that. Um, so I've, I've gone back to that system again just thinking twice about whether I want to do the washing up or do I really need to have a shave today <laughs> it's an excuse to be lazy and a bit grotty uh, but actually they're all little things that add up um, I've got back into not putting away the plates as soon as I've done the washing and drying just leave them on the dryer then it's one less thing to get back out of the cupboard uh, when I want to eat something again later. All little things, they all seem like nothing, but during the course of the day, they all add up and make a big difference. So, uh, yeah, been doing a bit of that. Uh, just been reminding myself to enjoy nothingness. So, uh, sitting, looking out. I mean, it's, it's stopped raining now, so there's actually a bit of blue sky and brightness flooding through. But just just watching the world go by, just uh, hearing the, the birds in the trees, it all sounds a bit new age. I'm, I'm not particularly that sort of person. Uh, but, but again, where I live, we're, we're by the sea. So just sitting, listening to the, uh, the the crashing of the waves just for 10 or 15 minutes. It's just a really nice thing to do because sometimes uh, we never, ever, ever stop. And I've also just got back into listening to uh, to podcasts. So as much as when I'm bored to death of laid uh, on my bed, feeling like I want to be doing something, just eyes closed, so it's reducing the sort of sensory overload of things going on, but just having a nice podcast on for me. Uh, there's one with um, Susie Dent and Giles Brandreth called um, Something Rhymes With Purple, which is just all about words, uh, and a few others I listened to about US and UK politics, and the brilliant podcast, Fortunately, watch, listen to Fortunately, uh, with Jane Garvey and Fee Glover, absolutely brilliant the best half hour a week uh, you can spend listening to audio it's absolutely superb so those sort of things have all helped i don't really know where i'm going with this there's no grand start middle or end to this vlog update uh, other than alistair said it's been too long since you last did one so hopefully this will satisfy him uh, and hopefully it's vaguely useful to you without it sounding like it's just me moaning. Uh, but suffice to say, if you're struggling right now, if you're going through whatever uh, to do with this uh, horrible illness right now, uh, sending you my best wishes. Uh, but all I can remind you is kindness, kindness, kindness. And kindness means being selfish. Look after yourself. If you're not looking after yourself, you can't really be looking after other people. Uh, being selfish might mean needing to cancel. I had to cancel going to my friend's leaving meal the other night, which uh, I was really upset by because I wanted to be there. But it would have just been an act of self-harm to go. Uh, selfish was cancelling on going to a wedding I desperately wanted to go to a few weeks ago. But again, it would have been a bad idea. It would have been a stupid thing to do. Um... Life goes on. I've sent my apologies. I've sent a nice prezi. Uh, and when we eventually do catch up, that'll be perfectly lovely. So those kinds of things. Kindness. Uh, think about yourself. Look after yourself. And hopefully I'll do another one of these again before too long. Take care. Bye.